All right, everybody, how's it going? And um, yeah, so today we're going to be making a video here on the channel, something we haven't been doing a lot of since the end of the NFL season. There has been, you know, little to talk about. We did some free agency news. Um, so today we're going to make an NFL related video. Finally, uh, something related to what the channel was made to do. Talk about football, talk about the NFL and, and all things related to it. Uh, as of lately, there's been uh, a, new, a new trend on YouTube, if you will, of people making tier lists, um, tier lists of like fast food restaurants, presidents, uh, various YouTubers themselves. Pretty meta idea right there at the end. And um, so, I, so I've been looking around and uh, thanks to a couple of suggestions yesterday during a live stream, um, somebody suggested making an NFL QB tier list where you rank the NFL quarterbacks on a tier list. Um, so these are the quarterbacks that, and then they showed me where I can make one and it's already made. Um, I actually made my own tier rankings and my own list names. Um, we'll, we'll start at the bottom with garbage boy, trash, Peterman esque. That's the worst ranking you can get in my system. That's, that's where you don't want to be. You don't want to be a garbage boy, um, or trash or Peterman esque. Um, and then next up you could be real mediocre. That's all right. That, a lot of young quarterbacks are going to wind up as real mediocre, haven't really shown anything. Um, you just kind of, yeah. Uh, and then the next subject is meh, take it or leave it. You know, it's like those guys that have been in the league for a while, not really shown anything, not really, yeah. they're just, eh. Like, you'd, you'd be all right if they were your team's quarterback, but you'd really not, like, you'd prefer not them to be there. Um, and then we have the next list, guy. It's good. Just not that guy. Like guys who have great seasons have like sporadically really good seasons, but like they've just never really done anything. Might be a dud in the playoffs. Uh, might be too young and great. Uh, it's just, you know, a couple of guys might fall into there. Then there's the great. Just simple. Just great. Um, and then there's elite, you know, guys who have the goat like symptoms. Um, they've, they've, they're the, there's only two guys in the NFL that are going to be here on my personal list. Um, I'm, I'm a pretty rough raider on quarterbacks, as you'll find out throughout the, uh, dur during the, you know, making of this tier list, you'll find out that I have a, uh, there's only two and you'll know who it is. Um, before we get like too too into it, I'll put a guy up here to give you an example of who I think is an elite with go like symptoms. Great. Good. Just not that guy. Meh. Take it or leave it. Real mediocre or a garbage boy, trash, Peterman-esque guy. Um, and here are the quarterbacks that are going to be rated. Uh, number one, there's Josh Allen, Patrick Mahomes, uh, Ryan Tannehill, Nick Foles, C.J. Bethard, Brock Osweiler, Lamar Jackson, Jimmy Garoppolo, Drew Brees, uh, Case Keenum, Eli Manning, Matthew Stafford, uh, Deshaun Watson, Derek Carr, Andrew Luck, Baker Mayfield, Nick Mullins. I'm going from right to left on the bottom. Um, Josh Rosen, because uh, <laughs> I always say Rosen, but it's Rosen, uh, Ryan Fitzpatrick, uh, Joe Flacco, who is elite, by the way, but we're not going to make him elite today. Remember, Flacco is an elite quarterback. Don't you ever forget that shit. Um, Jared Goff, Aaron Rodgers. That this is where I put Aaron Rodgers is going to upset all these stupid ass Green Bay Packers fans and blind witnesses to the um, overratedness of Aaron Rodgers. Marcus Mariota, Russell Wilson, Andy Dolan. He's going to really piss people off where I rank him as well. Uh, Blake Bortles. I'm just going to put Blake right where he belongs from the fucking word go. Blake's a garbage boy, trash, Peter Maness quarterback. He's the poster child for that in the NFL. I know he's a backup now, so he should just be at real mediocre, but he, he's the poster boy for that. Uh, Sam Darnold, Jameis Winston, uh, Nick uh, Carson Wentz, sorry. Uh, Mitchell Trubisky, Cam Newton, Big Ben Roethlisberger, now left to right. Um... Alex Smith, who's just not going to be in the league. Uh, and actually, he's the poster boy for meh, take it or leave it. You know what I mean? Just meh. It's Alex, it's, it's Alex Smith. Meh. Uh, even though he's not going to play, he broke his leg last year, uh, like the Theismann-esque injury. Uh, then we got Dak Prescott, Tom Brady. Uh, speaking of Tom Brady, let's just get him out of the way. This is who I put as this is the what you got to be like to be an elite goat-like symptom quarterback, one of the greats. Um, we'll just put small examples up there. Uh, then we got, uh, Kurt Cousins and Phillip Rivers. Um, so yeah, those are the quarterbacks. Uh, I'm going to scroll up here a little bit. So that way I, you guys can see what I'm putting. Cause we're going to start at the top and work our way down to the bottom of the list for everybody. So I hope you enjoy how we get started on this. Uh, we're going to find an example for each of these lists now. So for real mediocre, um, 
Josh Allen. Josh Allen is a great example for a real mediocre quarterback. Um, actually, we'll, we'll use guys in order as they come. Uh, and Patrick Mahomes. I want to see him have another very good season. Something like 35 to 45 touchdowns will be acceptable. If he, I, You know he's not going to throw 50 again. Um, if he throws anything north, north of 33 to 35, I'll put him into the elite with goat leg symptoms. But until then, it's he's a great example of a great quarterback that can turn the uh, turn the page by you know potentially getting to a Super Bowl, performing without his star-studded receiving cast. You know he's going to be without Kareem. He's going to be without Tyreek. I wonder how that team performs. You know, losing key 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 parts of the offense. Um, good and not just that guy, or just not that guy. Cam Newton. Cam Newton is a very good example of a good quarterback. Um, can win, has won, has been in a Super Bowl. Just something he he doesn't he's never had a back to back winning season. Like they'll go like thirteen and three or whatever that year they went to the Super Bowl, eight and eight or seven and nine the next year. It's it's an incredible thing, but it's a good example of he's good. He's just not that guy that puts together year after year of con- continued success. So now we have an idea of what a garbage boy trash Peterman s quarterback is. Blake Portals, real mediocre, Josh Allen, meh, Alex Smith, good, just not that guy, Cam Newton, and a great quarterback in Patrick Mahomes, and an elite goat-like, uh, walks around on all fours and goes, bah, um, and rams heads with other goats, uh, Brady. So now we'll get started on the rest of everybody as, as we see them as they come up on the bottom here, and here we go. Uh, Ryan Tannehill, garbage. You can't be a uh, real mediocre quarterback, in my opinion. If you go and become the backup to a real mediocre quarterback in Marcus Mariota, if you're backing up a real mediocre quarterback, you're probably a garbage boy trash Peter Minnes quarterback. Um, but yeah, so Ryan Tannehill, garbage boy. Uh, Nick Foles, great. Won a Super Bowl, has had continued success as a starter. Um, I wouldn't put him in elite or goat like just simply, duh. I don't think I have to say it, but he's been proven to be that guy. Um, you know, that interception in the... Um, in that playoff game this year, that was sort of off of it. Like that was the, it went off the guy's hands. So, um, CJ Bethard, nobody even knows who you are. So you go into the bottom, you go in the bottom list too. And, uh, Brock Osweiler, same situation. These guys are just the worst quarterbacks. <laughs> um, you really don't disagree either seeing Bortles, Tannehill, Bethard, and now Brock Osweiler. They're just two garbage quarterbacks who just, ugh, they're in because they're, all right backups i guess uh lamar jackson he's a great runner like a great running quarterback a great running threat but i'm a pretty i want to i want i have he's a terrible thrower of the football um so until i see that he's throwing from a proper arm angle and that he's making good decisions and he's fixed his throwing mistakes i don't see him as a meh you know what I mean? I just, it, it's so questions, so many questions going into a second year. This is potentially the biggest uh, sophomore slump, depending on if they address the issues with the throwing mechanics. So I like, uh, I like to put uh, Mr. Mr. Jackson at real mediocre. That's not a problem if you're a young quarterback like Josh Allen and his guy here. Uh, Jimmy Garoppolo, I think he's a meh, take it or leave it. We've only seen him, uh, you know, in spurts in New England. Um, And then we've only seen him really, he played a couple games last year and then tore his ACL. Kind of hard to judge him. Meh. So, Drew Brees. Obviously, the dude's like the all-time leader in every passing category. He's won a Super Bowl in New Orleans. So, he's an elite goat-like. He can, him and Brady butt heads on shit. So, that's fine. Uh, Case Keenum. Meh. Like, he's been bounced around from team to team. Had one good year. So, actually... I'm sorry, Case. You've only had one good year. The rest have been really mediocre. So you actually belong in the real mediocre category. And so this is heading into the 2019 season, just to reiterate. So you might see some guys a little higher or a little lower than what they actually should be. Um, But if you're an elite, you're just, you get the respect of always being elite in my book uh, till the day you retire. So Uh, Eli Manning, at this stage of his career, I'm not going to call Eli Manning mediocre. I'm not um 
he's won two Super Bowls. The guy's maybe going to be a Hall of Famer. But at this point in his career, meh. I wouldn't want him. Your team probably wouldn't want him. Nobody wants him. But he's not a terrible shit quarterback. You know what I mean? The guy's got – he can do it, but I don't think he – you know, eh. So, meh for him. Matthew Stafford, he's good, just not that guy. And that really hurts me to say that, but I really actually do find Matthew Stafford to be a good quarterback in a very ungood situation, unkind situation. The only year he wasn't ranked in the like bottom 20th in uh, line protection and tie, like do, do, to be able to do anything with the football, um, you know, sacks, all those good things. He threw for, what was it, 5,000 yards and 43 touchdowns. So we've seen flashes of it, but it's just, he's probably not going to be the guy to lead Detroit over the hump. Um, now we have Deshaun Watson. Same category. Um, he's been good. It's just we haven't seen enough out of the kid yet for to put him into the great category. Um, we've seen him get sacked 62 times last year, so I feel I'm being a bit tough. Uh, he still was able to play through and get his team into the playoffs. Uh, maybe a, another year of continued success like he had last year, playing well, playing at a good level. Very good passer, very good runner, very smart decision maker at times. He can ascend up. He's He's got the most potential to go up into great of probably anybody on the uh, tier list here. Uh, so let's scroll down a little bit to get the rest of the guys into the view. Um, just make, yep, okay, good. Uh, Derek Carr. Meh. He's just, just meh. He's had a good year, but it's kind of streaky. Eh. Andrew Luck. Great. We've seen what he could do with an offensive line, and he tore the league the fuck apart with literally no weapons last year. The dude just had nothing, and he still tore people apart last year. Eric Ebron, a perennial dropper, had a fucking 15 year or 15 touchdowns last year. Like, wrap that in your head. A guy who, who was second in the league in drops also almost led the league in touchdown receptions, if not led it. So, yeah. Uh, also, all right, so that's Andrew Luck. Um, let's go through a quick recap right now. That's a pretty good stopping point until we get into the next group. So elite, we've only got two guys and I don't really see that changing. Um, we've got Tom Brady and Drew Brees at great. We've got Mahomes, uh, Nick Foles and Andrew Luck. Good. Just not that guy. Cam Newton, uh, Matthew Stafford and, uh, Deshaun Watson. Uh, then meh, we've got, um, Alex Smith, Jimmy Garoppolo, uh, Eli Manning and Derek Carr. Real mediocre is Josh Allen, uh, Lamar Jackson, and Case Keenum. For garbage boy, trash, Peter Mines quarterbacks, we've got uh, Blake Bortles, Ryan Tannehill, CJ Bethard, and uh, Brock Osweiler. Now we've got the ca curious case of Baker Mayfield. Is he good, just not that guy, or is he great? Um, due to his age and the fact that he's only going to be a second-year quarterback, kind of a similar situation as Deshaun, actually, um, They've only had like a total of like a year in the league. Like I know Deshaun had a little bit more time, but he got hurt in his rookie season played. It's one of those things where you're like, I think Baker is going to be a great quarterback. He's going to ascend up eventually into those ranks, but he only played one year so far. Let's see how he does when teams have adjusted to his strengths, when teams know how to play him with some pressures, some expectations on the Browns, <coughs> expectations on him to perform. Let's see how he does before we actually give him the title of being a great quarterback. Right now, he's good. We're just not sure if he's that guy yet. Uh, ben Roethlisberger, great quarterback. Two Super Bowls. Uh, great numbers. Almost always in the playoffs, uh, except for last year, which was hilarious. Um, so, great quarterback. Ignore the bullshit around this team. They're probably going to win the division. Uh, people have been shitting on them. Watch out for the Steelers. Watch out for this team to have a big year. Watch out for the Steelers, folks. They're not done yet. I wouldn't I wouldn't uh do that. Uh Mitchell Trubisky. Dude had a good year, so he's I think uh of of young quarterbacks and everything who took a step forward and took a positive direction. Um I would say Mitchell Trubisky is a meh take it or leave it from being real mediocre the year before. If I would have made this list, he would have been real mediocre. I think he's worked his way up to the meh take it or actually, you know what? To be fair to Mitch Trubisky. I'm going to go ahead and be a little bit contrarian and put him at good, just not that guy. Because he played good last year. We've seen how good of a quarterback Mitchell Trubisky can actually be. Made the playoffs, had a high seed, played a playoff game in, at home. Um, they had the three seed, almost could have been the two seed if, you know, you know a couple things different. But 
Uh, like when I, so I have two questions when it's Mitchell Trubisky, is he a good NFL quarterback? And that's why the bears offense succeeded when it did last year. Or was it Matt Nagy's smoke and mirrors, gadgetry offense, misdirections, motion, uh, just, you know, tricking, tricking defense people. So Mitch has an opportunity to run it, throw it and make these decisions based on the fact the defense is looking one way when they should be looking the other. Is, is it a system or a product of Matt Nagy? Which, which will be exposed very, very quickly this year. A lot of quarterbacks can be good for a year. System gets exposed. The team just looks at it, finds it, exposes it the first time they play you, uh, and then that system dies. That's what happened to the Wildcat. It beat the hell out of the league. Patriots exposed how to beat it, dead it in the NFL. So um, you got to wonder, if, if that is that what Matt Nagy's offense did for Mitchell Trubisky? If not, he's a good quarterback. He could potentially be great. But if it was just a product of the system in the offense – and it gets exposed, then we see him drop back down to mediocre. But right now, good, just not that guy. Carson Wentz, same story. He's been injury prone, but what we've seen from Carson Wentz is MVP caliber performance. Uh, the team really likes him. He's a very, very talented quarterback, has all the like tangibles, has been a winner, was on pace to win an MVP award till he got, to you know, till he tore up his leg. So, you know, with Carson Wentz, you got to go, he's good. But due to injuries and constant injuries, 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 um, he's just not that guy right now. He, If he plays healthy and does a lot for his team, then, yeah, that's where he'll be. So um, now we're on a stretch of guys that are going to be really fun to talk about. Jameis Winston, he's mediocre. Um, he's got every bit of talent that you could have in a football player, right? Every bit of talent that a football player should have is what Jameis has, but... He throws a shitload of interceptions and makes a lot of mistakes off the field. You can only wonder if Bruce Arians, the quarterback whisperer, can come in and fix him around. If not, he's going to fall into the garbage boy category. But a fourth year or fifth year quarterback now, and the dude, he's got the guy, he's got the coach that bailed out Carson Palmer, Peyton Manning, Ben Roethlisberger. Just, you know, the list goes on and on and on and on and on. Um, so I wonder what he's going to do with Jameis. Right now, Jameis is mediocre. Sam Darnold. Um, he's young, uh, has shown signs of it, but still I have problems putting, uh, young quarterbacks like Josh Allen, Lamar Jackson, uh, above the mediocre level because you haven't really seen anything. You've seen flashes of stuff, but it's just not enough for you to go. Yeah, I'm ready for him. So that's where I'm putting Darnold. He's definitely going to move up this list. I think of all the quarterbacks, um, Andy Dalton, I think he's good. He's just 100% never going to be that guy. Um, when you actually give him some weapons and some talent and a good offensive line, you know, they lost Whitworth and then he's been hurt the last two years consecutively. Two years ago, they lose Whitworth. Um, and then all of a sudden Dalton can't throw the ball. He throws more interceptions. The line is completely terrible. They lose, uh, Muhammad Sanu. They lose Marvin Jones. Um, so they lost literally two number. They lost their number two and number three receiver who became a number two in Muhammad Sanu and Detroit's, uh, number one receiver is Marvin Jones. So you lose that, and all of a sudden you only have Tyler Efert and A.J. Green left. No offensive line. The defense is trash, and um, you don't have a running game until last year all of a sudden with Dixon. So when I look at the Bengals, I go, they were also 6-3 and three last year till Dalton got hurt. And um, based on the fact that a 9-6 and six team won that division last year, say Joe Dreskel or Tom Savage, um, isn't the starter for the Bengals, they probably go 10 and six and make the playoffs if Dalton was the starter. So I think Dalton's good. I think he gets a lot of unfair hatred and a lot of unfair criticism um, based on the fact that he's a redhead and he's a ginger. So fuck you all. Suck his fucking gingery dick. He's getting paid. He's got a triple digit contract. So, you know, whatever. I, he, it's You take away all his weapons and you take away the guys protecting him and you make his defense terrible. Then you go, why does this guy suck now? He can't win, even though they went 6-3 and three last year and we're probably going to win the division if he didn't get hurt. Whatever. Whatever, though. He sucks. Uh, Russell Wilson. Great. I want to put him up here so fucking bad it's not even funny. He's a, he's a great thrower. Probably the best young quarterback in the NFL. He's been in two Super Bowls. He'll play in another. He's put up good numbers with Doug Baldwin. God damn it. All right, fine. There's three quarterbacks I'm going to make elite. 
and motherfucking Russell Wilson, who I've hated since he came into the league, um, has played his way into being an elite quarterback, in my opinion. Best young quarterback in the football, has put up great numbers with fucking nothing to work with, um, has been nothing but drugged through the mud because of, oh, he's just the benefit of playing with the Legion of Boom. Ah, fuck you. He's still doing all right, you know, and they're in a rebuild. They made the playoffs last year pretty much on his play. Uh, the dude's a great quarterback. Is, is he elite? That's a bit of a stretch, but I think it's a stretch you can make as he is the only other guy that's going to get in, the, in that part. Uh, mediocre quarterback. <laughs> if he plays bad again this year, Marcus Mariota, he's going in the garbage boy. Like he better not have another 11 and 10 season where he throws 11 picks uh, or 11 touchdowns and 10 picks or else he's real fast garbage boy. So. You got one more year, Mariota. You're lucky I liked you in college. So, Aaron Rodgers, he's a great quarterback, not elite. He's four and six in the playoffs uh, since his Super Bowl win. Uh, he he broke and shattered the record, destroyed the record for throwaways. His accurate his numbers fell off a cliff last year after his injury. I wonder if he's the same quarterback after the injury. Um, to be a goat, you have to kind of transcend and make your team better. And his team is trash. And he basically scapegoats his team going, well, we're bad. How are we supposed to win with a bad team is basically his attitude. Whereas Brady, Breeze, and Wilson try to make their team better with their play. Um, you've never heard Brady criticize his teammates saying they're trash or criticizing teammates for the reason that the fact that that's why they lost. Um, you know, you never just uh, it's so many things about Rodgers that doesn't scream elite to me because you see guys leave his team and shit talk him like you don't see that with it's just he's not an elite quarterback because if he was, he would make his really average bad team of really young dudes play a little bit better. And he's not raising the level of play of the people around him. He's just not right now. And that's part of the reason I don't think he's elite. Russell Wilson does it. Drew Brees does it. Brady does it. Those guys go. Their teams go as they go. The players feed off of their fucking leaders. Aaron's not a leader. He's a great quarterback. Uh, um, generationally talented, much like Mahomes. I hope Mahomes becomes a leader because if he doesn't, he's just basically the new Aaron Rodgers. Um, that's the that's my opinion. Sorry. I got to have certain order with everybody. But uh, Jared Goff, great quarterback. <clears throat> um, Actually, no. I'm actually going to put Jared Goff into the good because he's had nothing but great seasons in the in the last couple years in the NFL. Two really great ones, 14-2 uh, and 13-3. and three. Very good winning quarterback, wins a lot of games, uh, puts up good numbers. But we've seen him fold the first time in the playoffs like a, wet, a sack of wet paper napkins. Just prrrr, piece of shit performance in his first playoff run. Then the second one, we've seen him play pretty decently until the Super Bowl, and then he became two inches tall again. Um, him and McVay kind of have this dual system where McVay kind of runs the offense until he's not allowed to anymore. And then Jared's got to do pretty much just throw the ball. Um, so I, I don't know if he's that guy, but he's a good quarterback. He's got all the intangibles. I want to see what happens when the uh, when the leash is taken off of uh, young Jared Goff. Joe Flacco, elite. Uh, Ryan Fitzpatrick. Um, sorry to do this to you, but you've only played against me. You've literally been a Bill. You've been now a Dolphin. Um, you played against my Lions. You throw a lot of interceptions. Your name should not be Fitzmagic. It's Fitzception. Because all you do is throw picks and you got a shitty beard and you're from Harvard and I hate you so much. I hate you guys got to understand. This is a personal one. He's uh, he's played against. He just is on every team I hate. So fuck uh, fuck Fitz Fitzception. He's he's trash. Um, he's a garbage boy. Peterman esque quarterback who's only in the league because OK, we're going to move Flacco because I don't like him sitting up there. I just wanted to make sure you guys he <laughs> that's what Flacco is. He's good. He's just not that guy. He's a game manager. Actually, so, yeah, Flacco's a capable game manager. He proved it in 2013 with that Ravens defense. Just kind of let him, they held his hand to a Super Bowl. So, that's what Flacco is. He's meh. Uh, Josh Ru uh, Rosen, not Rosen, Rosen, um, is real mediocre. Like, he had the worst offensive line in football last year. An old-ass Larry Fitzgerald to throw it to. A terrible defense. A bad coaching situation. And the dude just didn't perform well. What do you expect? Uh, he's just mediocre, much like Allen, much like uh, much like uh, Darnold, uh, much like Lamar Jackson. Those guys can all work their way up. It's just that I have no idea what they're going to be or how it's going to turn out. Uh, Nick Mullins, same story. He had he looked good at some spots. He actually 
Like, if you go look up Nick Mullins, I believe he was, like, the most efficient rookie or very well goddamn close to it. It's just we don't need – I don't even know where he's going to be playing. Is he going to be backing up Jimmy Garoppolo? I believe so. So I have no idea what what he's going to be doing this year. So I'll just put him in the m- mediocre with some talent. Um, Matt Ryan, good, just not that guy. We've seen him get to the Super Bowl. We've seen what he can do. He's always had the best weapons, the best line. Uh, now he's got the one of the best lines. They've built him a fucking really good line. Uh, great receivers, great running backs. The defenses are always meh. So we'll see how that goes. But he's had good years. He shows he can be great, shown flashes of brilliance, much like Cam Newton. Flashes of brilliance, much like um, uh, Matthew Stafford, uh, Andy Dalton. The other guys are too young. They only re- like. Here's how the, the good just uh, not that guy breaks down. It's Cam Newton, Matthew Stafford, Andy Dalton, and Matt Ryan. Those guys are like the guys who are like, they're not bad quarterbacks. They're really good quarterbacks. It's just like they've never, they've only shown that in like flashes, maybe a season here, a season there, a season here. But it, there's something just, they're just, yeah, there's something missing to make them great. And the other guys, you know, your Deshaun, your Baker, uh, your Mitch, your Carson, and your Jared, we they're just too young to be great. You know what I mean? They have not really done much to earn the title of great. Carson's got a ring, yeah, but you know, if if he would have won the ring, he'd be great. He was just the backup. Uh Dak Prescott. He joins the list of guys who are good. They're just not that great. He's like the winningest quarterback uh behind Tom Brady since he took over the team. Um he's been in the playoffs a couple of times. He's got a playoff win under his belt. You know, he you know, that's pretty good. Um I just wonder if it's Ezekiel Elliott and a very, very stacked defense because, let's be honest, that Dallas Cowboys defense is one unstoppable unit of people. That is a very well-put-together defense, well-drafted defense. Um, And now he's got Coop, he's got Zeke. Uh, They've got some talent on the offensive side, and, you know, uh, Dak did do better once they got him some more weapons. So I do take that into consideration. Um, But, yeah, that's where I'd put Dak just because of his age. He's not really done much. Other, He's won a lot of games. Yeah, but we'll see. Uh, Philip Rivers, I'm saving uh, Kirk Cousins for last. Philip Rivers, he's a great quarterback. He's just never going to win a playoff game. Dude's got, no, you know what? Not that guy. He's just never going to, he just can't get to the Super Bowl. He'll get you to the playoffs and then you'll lose. He'll go 12 and 4, 10 and 6. But there was also a stretch there where he was a very average quarterback. But lately, he's played very well, and he's had great seasons. He's had great season. He he goes with the new in the Staffords, the the Ryan's, the Daltons. Even though he's older, he's just not meh yet. And of course, Mister Overrated himself is also going to be good, just not that guy. Uh, I've never really seen him in the playoffs. I think he's 0-1 or 0-2 if he's made it even. Uh, He's got one of the best contracts for a quarterback in the NFL. All of it's guaranteed. And he shit the bed last year. Uh, We can give him a – we're not going to put him at meh um, simply because he can blame a lot of his woes on the offensive coordinator. He's also got the same numbers pretty much as Andy Dalton in his career. Um, especially when you consider prime time, he's six and thirteen. Dalton's five and twelve, so Dalton's actually a little bit better on the big scale. Um, so yeah, this is my list. This is my uh, quarterback tier list. So for quarterbacks, let's start um, at the top and work our way down. For elite guys with goat-like symptoms, um, we got Brady, Drew Brees, and Russell Wilson. Um, those are my three elite quarterbacks in the NFL for the 2019 season. For great quarterbacks, we've got Patrick Mahomes, Andrew Luck, Nick Foles, um, Ben Roethlisberger, and Aaron Rodgers, begrudgingly. Um, Cam Newton, for good, just not that guy. There's two tiers of this. I'll do it in the tiers. This this one's sub-tiered. We've got um, uh, Cam Newton, uh, Matthew Stafford, Andy Dalton, uh, Matt Ryan, Phillip Rivers. And Kirk Cousins kind of in this category of guys who've been in the league a while and shown that they were great, but just it's never really gone further than that. And then we've got the young guys who are good. They just haven't shown that they're that guy yet because they're young. And Deshaun Watson, Baker Mayfield, Mitch Trubisky, Nick Foles, uh, uh, Carson Wentz, sorry, uh, Jared Goff, um, and Dak Prescott. Then the meh, take it or leave it, we've got uh, Alex Smith, Jimmy Garoppolo, um, fucking old five head and Eli Manning old old fucking big head and Derek Carr and um Joe Flacco who was elite but then I took him down you know real mediocre we've got Josh Allen Lamar Jackson uh Case Keenum uh 
Jameis Winston, Sam Darnold, Marcus Mariota, who really should be in the one beneath, um, Josh Rosen, and uh, Nick Mullins, and then garbage boy, trash, Peterman-esque quarterbacks. We've got Derek uh, Derek Carr looks... He looks more like Derek. He looks like Ben Roethlisberger's illegitimate rape child. You know what I mean? Like Bortles does. Like that looks like the kid who came from that time Big Ben got accused of rape. And this is the offspring is Blake Bortles because he's just a terrible perversion of Big Ben. Um, then we got Ryan Tannehill, C.J. Bethard, and uh, Blake uh, Brock Osweiler and Ryan Fitzpatrick, who really should be mediocre, but I think he's garbage uh, for personal reasons. So that's my. NFL quarterback tier list. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's a bit long, but you know, there's a lot of guys to go over and uh, gave you my reasonings. So it looks like most quarterbacks in the NFL are good, just not that guy and mediocre uh, quarterbacks. That's what we got. We got three really, we've got about seven really good quarterbacks and the rest are good and meh ugh, and garbage boy, Nathan Peterman's the second. Uh, thank you guys so much for listening. Go ahead and share this. Uh, leave a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here. We do a lot of live streaming. Uh, we do a lot of live reactions. We do whatever we want with sports. It's fun. Sometimes we game. Um, you know, hope you enjoyed this uh, Dirty Sports Network presentation. It was very fun to make. Um, go ahead and make your own. Uh, I challenge you to do it. Thank you again to Trevor for telling me to do this. Uh, Trevor Kinney. Uh, he comes on my live streams and all that and tells me I should have made this. So I went, went ahead and did it. And uh, yeah, so enjoy the video. They're rare on my channel until the NFL season starts again. But, you know, when this kind of stuff comes along, why not do it? Again, like, subscribe, leave a comment down below with what you think of my list. I'll make sure to get back to you. Thanks for listening. Hope you enjoy and have a great day.